All right, last video of the week. Volume of prisms today. Um, we're going to do a quick overview of what we talked about yesterday with the volume of cylinder. And then we're going to look at prisms and specifically rectangular prisms today. So here we go. So just our review here, volume of a cylinder, we probably talked about a little bit about it in um, your bell work. So volume of a cylinder is written as the area of the base, that's why it's a big B, times the height of the cylinder. So if we look here, the area of the base, well the base of a cylinder is always going to be a circle. So the area of the circle is going to be pi r squared times h. If you look at your yellow reference sheet that is on there, um, it's under right circular cylinder. It says volume equals pi r squared h. So if we look at a quick example here, if we had a little cylinder, not the best at drawing 3D figures, but I do my best, okay? And let's say it told us that this was two centimeters and the height was five centimeters. We could figure this out. We would go ahead and do volume equals pi r squared h. We would write that down. And then we would say, well, pi is 3.14. What is our radius? It's two squared and our height is five. So make sure you write this example down. It's just one more example you can have in your notes over volume of a cylinder. So we would have 3.14 times five, two squared is four, and then times five at the end there. So we have 3.14 times four, times five, and that would give us 62.8 centimeters cubed. So hopefully you labeled all your homework cubed. Awesome, so that's a good reminder of the volume of a cylinder. We're gonna move on to volume of prisms. Um, so we want you to be able to work with all of these, so keep this in your knowledge bank. All right, back to this slide. We, we looked at this slide yesterday. Prisms, prisms, um, it's a polyhedron that has two parallel congruent bases, okay? Today we're gonna be focused on this um, rectangular prism over here. We'll be looking at those. Um, but obviously prisms can come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, the bases can be any polygon and the other faces are parallelograms, okay? Um, the types of prisms are named off the shape of their base. So these rectangular prisms obviously have bases that are rectangles. So here is the formula for vol volume of a rectangular prism. Pretty simple. Remember, it has three dimensions, length, width, and height. So that's all it is. We take the length, multiply it by the width, and multiply that by the height. Again, if you look at your reference sheet, um, the right prism, it is right on there, length, width, and height. This next slide is pretty important because we really haven't talked about the definition of actually volume. So I do want you to write this down and then we're gonna do an example with this picture on here. So volume is a measure of amount of space that a 3D di dimensional figure occupies. So when we think about perimeter, we think about like if I think about my room, okay, we think about the walls and the outside, if we put string along the outside of the walls, that would be kind of the perimeter, the distance that that string would be, or the length of that string. When we talk about area, we talk about my carpet. So we're filling the length and the width, okay? How much carpet do I need to fill my room? But when we're talking about volume, we're talking about all the airspace in my room. So we're talking about the length, the width, and the height of my room. So we're talking about all of the space that a 3D figure occupies, okay? So it's measured in cubic units or cubic meters, as you can see there. So let's look at this example of, this is right here, this pink figure it is a rectangular prism. We're gonna do an example of the volume of a rectangular prism. Well, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna say it's even more simple than cylinders. Um, length times width times height. So, well, our length is 12, our width is 3, 
and our height is 4. So if we multiply those all together, we have the volume of this prism. So we will be doing other types of prisms moving forward. Um, Monday, we will probably be looking at a few different other types of prisms, specifically triangular prisms. Um, but today we're just focusing on rectangular, so 144 feet cubed. So make sure you have that written down in your notes. Okay, so we have two more examples. One I'm going to do with you, and then the last one you'll do on your own. And that'll be it for this week. So the volume here, this rectangular prism, length times width times height, really simple. The length is 7, the width is 2, and the, how tall it is, the height is 5. So 7 times 2 is, well, I guess we could make it easy. 2 times 5 is 10, times 7 is 70. We don't even need a calculator there. Make sure you label it cubed. All right, so make sure you pause the video and do this. We have one. Do this second example on your own. That's all I got for today. Um, great job this week. I think that these videos are really working well. I think it, most of you are doing great work on the notes. Um, continue to do your homework. We will have a homework quiz over this these items. So all of the homework you've done this week, tomorrow, Friday. Um, remember, tomorrow is a short class, so... Um, we will do that homework quiz and maybe talk about a few other things and wrap up rectangular prisms. Remember, we will be doing some more prisms on Monday of next week. Have a great night, and we will talk tomorrow.